Wing, so we'll expect that undocking command to come in about two minutes or so. And then once that's given, it takes about five minutes until that physical separation or undock actually occurs. And then just a few seconds after that, another burn will start. And then about 30 seconds following that second undocking burn, the first departure burn. So you might hear them called departure burn zero, one, two, or three. Uh, between the conversations of the folks in Mission Control and the astronauts on board. So there's four of them, but don't get confused <laughs> when we say departure burn one is started and this is the second burn. Uh, there are four, but we start counting from zero for this mission. Okay, so we just had the confirmation that umbilical retraction has begun. Undocking sequence is happening. The first set of hooks are open. The next step is for the second set to unhook, which is now in progress. And we have motion. You see Dragon physically separating from the International Space Station, 1.32 a.m. Central Time, the International Space Station, 253 statue miles over Sedan. Station, space ground shield, ISS thruster is enabled. Copy. So there you can see on your screen visual confirmation. What a gorgeous shot. Uh, Dragon has control. undocked from the International Space Station, and we are beginning the departure. <laughs> That's right, and you're going to hear the voice of David St. Jacques again. He's the one inside of the station monitoring Dragon for its departure. It's slowly backing away. Everything's looked good so far with those separation burns. Again, as Gary said, that physical separation, that undocking coming at 11.32 p.m. here Thank Pacific. You, Dragon departure burn zero complete. Copy, departure burns are complete. So you heard us mention earlier that we have a series of four departure burns, starting with zero, zero, one, two, three. Uh, we have confirmation that departure burn zero has been completed. That's right, and so with that one down, we're gonna start seeing Dragon begin flying actually above the International Space Station. And then coming up in just a couple of minutes, departure burn one, the second departure burn, uh, will be coming. That should be in about four or five minutes from now. And so we're going to see Dragon just kind of swing its way over top the space station and eventually fly out of both the keep out sphere and the approach ellipsoid. And so the keep out sphere is one of my favorite things. It's an imaginary sphere with about a 200 mile radius, so 200 or 200 meter radius. That would be a much bigger sphere. <laughs> a 200 meter radius in all directions. Um, and that just governs, so kind of like the approach ellipsoid, which I explained earlier, before you're in the keep out sphere, any maneuvers with the spacecraft uh, have to be two, safe and five. not get inside within four orbits. Dragon's in the corridor, and uh, opening rate is unexpected. Copy. And David St. Jacques reporting, everything looking good so far. You heard him say the corridor, so they, on their overlays that they have, uh, on their laptops on board the station where they're actually monitoring Dragon. They're looking for any perturbations outside of the expected path. If they see anything that doesn't quite look right, again, they're in the loop and they can send commands, but everything going smoothly with Dragon slowly flying away. And this kind of a, an animated representation of the kind of stuff that the crew is looking for. They have that corridor, so kind of that triangular shape you can see there where they're just looking to make sure Dragon's pitch, yaw, approach, speeds, everything like that or inside of parameters as expected. And we should be just about two minutes or so away from departure burn one, and that'll be the second of four that we're gonna be expecting today.
Station Houston and two departure burn one completed successfully. So we have confirmation that departure burn one, which is actually our second burn of the morning, uh, is complete. Copy, and Dragon is outside of the keep out sphere. All right, and as you just heard the Capcom tell the crew, Dragon's outside of the keep out sphere. So that means at this point, Dragon's already more than 200 meters away. You can actually see some of the Draco thruster firings from this view. Dragon a little over 400 meters now away from the space station. Station Houston on two, Dragon is outside the approach ellipsoid on a safe 24-hour free drift trajectory. From Houston, we would like to congratulate the amazing teams from around the world who comprise of international partnership and the great team at SpaceX for bringing Crew Dragon to the International Space Station. We wish this new asset to human spaceflight, fair winds, and following seas as it returns to Earth for its splashdown in the Atlantic. You have all made us proud today. Houston Station, we copy all, and as Crew Dragon departs the International Space Station, on behalf of David, Oleg, and myself, we want to take a moment to recognize this milestone accomplishment that marked the inaugural mission of the Commercial Crew Program. Fifty years after humans landed on the moon for the first time, America has driven a golden spike on the trail to new space exploration feats through the work of our commercial partner SpaceX and all of the talented and dedicated flight controllers at NASA and our international partners. It won't be long before our astronaut colleagues are aboard Crew Dragon and Boeing Starliner vehicle, and we can't wait. Let us continue to be united by our insatiable curiosity to go beyond what is known, to do what has never been done. We humans are at our best when we are part of something bigger than ourselves. Today, tomorrow, and the weeks and months ahead belong to those who dream big and who dare to explore, and our future in space is very, very bright. Thank you from the crew of Expedition 58.